Hey boys and girls, Moon Girl here, and this is going to be a reading for my beautiful, magical Aquarius Risings. Mama goes hard for you guys. I love Aquarians. <laughs> um, so we will have a new moon in Scorpio. Okay, another fixed sign here um, on November the 12th. This will be affecting every rising sign differently. This is going to be affecting your 10th house of career, reputation, you know, your work. <laughs> Which I know is very important to Aquarians. Um, so <laughs> there you go. Um, I do expect new beginnings for uh, you know, basically everyone in, in one form or another, just in a different house, right? Uh, there could be some hiccups here and there or or maybe some stagnation or possibly you know the fear of the unknown um maybe some challenges arrive but if you continue and put your all i do see ultimately having success in whatever this new endeavor may be for you guys okay so let's see what you can expect for your 10th house my beautiful aquarian risings okay what can you expect in your 12th house i'm sorry your 10th house of a career your 10th house what can you expect for your 10th house what can aquarius rising expect for the 10th house okay we do have the queen of swords here let me get something else before we really look at that well speaking of air sign right hello <laughs> some of you may be speaking your truth standing your ground um <laughs> you may be you may be, uh, you know what I'm getting? I'm getting Joan Crawford. Um, it's not my first road. It's not my first ride at the rodeo, boys. So <laughs> maybe like putting your your foot down to in career, like kind of, you know, standing your ground here <laughs> for some of you putting boundaries up here. Yeah, you guys may be uh, leaving a job or a group of people, friendship perhaps. Uh, I, this may be like coworkers. Okay, maybe you're like putting your foot down finally with people uh this could be even the three people um there's a lot of stuff uh hidden here uh in your 10th house of career you know what i'm getting i'm, I'm kind of getting like maybe these people were kind of secretly sabotaging you and now you're kind of like aware of it you know and you're putting your foot down and putting boundaries and maybe leaving a job situation uh or a group that you were perhaps collaborating with because there was ultimately disappointment there okay um yeah there is definitely some sort of ending here um when it comes to work career of some kind maybe just changing jobs leaving maybe it's i'm getting like it's just pretty toxic there there could be a scorpio of significance um if not that's fine maybe it's very unreliable there these people may be very unreliable Let's see what else um yeah um i feel like you put a lot of work in this and you got nothing out of it okay um so this is why some of you are leaving. It might have cost you a lot of stress. You're definitely putting your guard up with these people, okay? Um, you may be, I think you're getting, you're getting the boss to like move on, okay? And start something new and just taking that leap of faith and say, you know what? Ugh, let the cookie crumble how it crumbles. I'm out of here. But you will be very successful at whatever you do. We do have the Queen of Wands here. So whatever this is, whatever you're leaving, rest assured that you're walking into something much better for you where you will be appreciated, where people will view you, where you will be seen, your ideas will be heard, which I know is very important to Aquarians. Um, and you will have success here, okay? You'll be very viewed in a very high light. So you might get new opportunities coming your way. Again, out of nowhere that you weren't expecting with the tower. Yes, the tower can be like, you know, shit hitting the fan. It also mean fast movement. So so things kind of happening out of nowhere. So regardless, it's okay, baby girl or boy, if you have to leave a job or a uh, collaboration that wasn't working for you. I think you see people now for what they are and you're deciding to say, you know what? I the watch you later, bro. I'm out. But you will be walking on your own and doing something else. We do have, it's time to release negativity. Bingo. Okay. Uh, full moon in Scorpio. Well, there you go. Even though ours is going to be a new moon, but still. Wow. All right. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. Anything else? We do have a new start is coming. Come on, guys. Like, no mamas. Like, yeah, it's it's done. Leave whatever this is. You're moving on to greener pastures. You're good. You're good. So this is what I was telling you earlier. Like, you know, starting something new where there may be some hiccups. Maybe you're scared of taking that leap of faith and saying, I can't, you know, I'm going to leave this toxic place. What if I don't find something better? Well, you, you are going to find something better. There's going to be better people around you. There's going to be a better situation, a uh, better work environment for you. So don't sweat it. Okay. And as always, stay magical.